So, this is our first season in the Premier League with Newport County. Um, our pre-signing or pre-contract agreement with Alexander Lacazette has now been complete, so he is now a Newport County player. That has now happened. So, let's have a look, a look at our squad moving forward this season. So, it's not a bad squad. Um, we can replace him with Lacazette. Not a bad squad, pretty decent. One or two signings, probably centre mid, possibly a centre back, maybe a keeper. But apart from that, I think we're pretty, but okay. Um, I don't expect anything major this season. Um, top half, hopefully, but just not get relegated is the main thing. So, so yeah, I'll get back to you now if there's any signings. Um, if not, we'll have a look at ins and outs anyway see what's happened and then we'll skip ahead to January, sim in every game, see how we done. So guys, we have signed a brand new keeper, Dean Henderson from Manchester United, signed him for £44 million on 91 grand a week. Welcome to Newport County, hopefully the strength in the back line a little bit more. Welcome, Dean Henderson. So, we have sold our first player, P. Clavaria. I don't know how the hell you say that, but a centre midfielder who's been playing well for us. But we just need to strengthen our squad and we have to make room. So sorry, but you have to go. Thank you for everything you've done for Newport County. Look forward to seeing you at your new side. Hopefully, that makes some room, gives some funds for bigger and better players to come in eventually. Stay tuned, we will be signing some more players. So guys, we have made three signings and we have sold one player. Our first signing is D Zimmer. Um, young, we bought him. I don't know if it's profile being there. Young. Rated 77, only 23 years old, so plenty of growth as well. So this is going to be a couple of seasons. This, this guy's going to grow, hopefully. We have sold centre midfielder, 74 rated, 30 years old, uh, he was only on short term contract as it is, so we got a little bit of money, 4.2 million, that's, that's a lot for that guy to be fair. Uh, we, have so, we have bought another centre midfielder to replace him, 78, 24 years old, another great improvement to the squad, um, and we've also bought a new centre back, 23 years old, 77 rated. Hoping to get one or two more signings in. Um, I'll let you know. We should have at least one more. So guys, I did say we were going to sign another player. We've got another centre midfielder. 26 years old. Rated 79. Again, another big improvement to our squad. So welcome G Till. So we have sold our very first striker that we bought for 1.8 million. He's just not good enough for the Premier League, so we sold him on. He's off to Bristol City, hopefully there's wonders there. Um, and that's it now. That is the transfer window closed. As you can see by here. Only one hour left, transfer window closed. And now I'll show you our squad for the season going ahead. So this is our squad. Um, so yeah, we got a, our superstar striker, along with our young prodigy of a striker, the old mastermind Coutinho. We got our two new centre midfielders. We got our old faithful right and left wing back, along with an all new back line from last season. This season, Lacazette on the bench. Along with Killerman, who we signed in like our very first season, I believe. So he's progressed with the side as well, which is nice. We got our youngster over here, our Cam. Um, so yeah, we got a nice little bench as well, to be fair. and a couple of nice reserves, which is nice. So we got a little bit of a squad in depth. But I'm not expecting wonders this season. If we could finish top half, I'll be more than happy with a top half finish. So I'm going to skip now to January 1st, 
see where we are halfway through the season. So, it is January the 1st, we're halfway through the season. Um, this month is a big month, as you can see, we've got United twice and Liverpool. We're still in the cup, as you can see there. So let's take a little look at how we're doing so far in the league. Oh wow, we're top four. Oh, wow. Okay. So, we're top four. Champions League spot at the moment. Um, we're eight points behind first. I don't see us getting first, if I'm really honest. Um, so, but it's a good platform. If you can get top four, that's brilliant. If not, no worries. Um, I'm going to look at this season trying to get some free agent big, big players in if possible, get some pre-contracts going if not then we'll have to try and spend some money next season but the team is growing quite well which is nice I think so let's have a look at other competitions, the FA Cup, let's have a look how we're doing that um, Oh, we're still in it. Third round. We got Wickham. We got Wickham in the third round. Um, so we're still in that, which is positive. Um, it would be nice to win a cup this season, but again, I'm not uh, not going to put my house on it. Uh, the Carabao Cup. Let's have a look at that then. So we're in the semi-finals of that. Like last year, we got United. So it's going to be a hard, hard um, semi-final. But I'm happy with the semi-final of the Cabal Cup, to be fair. Um, the semi-final, if you can get to a final, that's brilliant, but I'm not going to put all my chickens in one basket. Uh, let's have a look at how our squad is progressing so far. So yeah, our two centre-backs have grown, along with our two centre-midfielders have grown as well, which is brilliant. Um, our striker's grown. Lacazette has gone down. He's uh, 79 rated now. Which I kind of expected, to be fair. Um, but apart from that, our keeper, our reserve keeper has gone up. Henderson's gone up. This is brilliant. This is really good. So everybody's, everybody's growing. So I'll keep you informed of any transfer news, if we get any. Um, so yeah, see you in a minute. So guys, we have made three pre-signing contracts. So we got them for free. We have got Curtis Jones, 23, 83 rated. That's massive. Except we have also got Matip. He's 33, but he's 84 rated. So if we can get him on a year, maybe contract, I'd be really happy. Maybe two years, I'd be really happy. He's still really good quality. So signing for him. And Griezmann. Who doesn't want a Griezmann in this side? Two-year contract, 33, don't get me wrong, but he will help us for that Champions League push and hopefully Premier League win. So accept the offer. So we have sold another centre midfielder or centre back, I can't really remember. Igor, we signed him a couple of seasons ago. He helped us with the promotion to Premier League. But he wanted he chose to hand in the transfer request. So he is off to Sheffield United for 3.7 million. Thank you for your service. I wish you all the best. So we have some massive, massive news. We have sold our young prodigy striker to Barcelona for 128 million pounds. Um, we had to have it to bring some more players in. We still got one of our key key strikers, which is good. So we're hoping to bring a new centre attacking mid and a new um, striker. We needed the money, but yeah, bit gutted. But it had to be done with a small club trying to get the Champions League final and we're trying to win the league and win the Champions League final. So it's got to be done. I'll keep you updated with some more signings. So we have bought in our biggest signing ever in the history of Newport County. A hundred million pound striker, Mr. Malin from Manchester United to Newport County, 26 years old, hopefully he can replace our our little boy that we had to, leave, had to leave and hopefully he can get us the Premier League title. So it is the end of the January transfer window, 
this is our new squad again very good so far i'm really happy with it hopefully we can push for the top four um i don't know where we are now let's have a look okay we're fifth joint fifth so hopefully this push to the top four will be really really helpful at the end of the season if not i'm happy the way we've gone so far we're not getting relegated and i don't think we finished bottom half so i'm happy the season hopefully next season we'll progress even more so now i'm going to skip ahead to the end of the season yeah and uh i'll see you at the end of the season so guys we have now reached the end of the season so let's go and have a look how we did So we finished third in the league, which I'm really happy about. Champions League football, brilliant, perfect. FA Cup, let's have a look how we did. We didn't win it. Uh, we lost to Liverpool in the semi-finals, which I guess is understandable. You know I mean? So I'm happy with semi-finals, but there. Let's have a look at the Carabao Cup now that we're in. We lost on aggregate 4-2 to Manchester United. So two semi-finalists, Champions League football next season. I'm really, really happy with that. Let's have a look at how our team is, or squad has developed. Wow, so we've got a really, really good striker partnership so far. Really, really impressed with that. Coutinho has somehow improved, even though he's about 106 now. Um, possibly want to look at a new right wing back um, next season maybe a new centre mid out but we got Curtis Jones coming in for that um, so yeah possibly just a new right wing back next season maybe a left wing back as well um, so yeah let's go ahead now to see next season see how we do there so here we are, the start of season two in the Premier League and now in the Champions League as well. Um, here is our um, group Inter Milan, Leverkusen, Real Social Dad. Um, hard group, but hopefully um, we will get through the group and. Uh, yeah, progress through to Europe. Big, big opportunity this is. I'm going to be signing a couple of players, hopefully. I'll keep you, keep you up to date with any signings in the meantime. So, as we found out last season, um, Alexander Lacazette is left to go to Fulham on a free. He ran out of contract, which I don't mind. Um, but we've got our Griezmann who will replace him. We got Matip to strengthen up the back line. And we got Curtis Jones, which is going to be a phenomenal sign in the centre of the park. So, we'll check out the side in a minute now. Let's have a look with them in. The Griezmann, obviously, good player, sits nicely, really belongs. We will put Curtis Jones there. We will put. In the starting lineup, and who would she like? Okay. Yeah, we'll replace that one because obviously we just rotate it around then. <coughs> but yeah, again, we've already strengthened. I'm looking for a right wing back as we speak. I could have a couple of deals in the line, hopefully, um, and possibly a left wing back we could be looking for. but Again, it depends um, on the situations that we are having. So I'll get back to you with any more transfer news. But that's what the squad looks like so far. Good, decent, strong squad. Really happy with it so far. So guys, we have our first 
new signing of the transfer window, a new centre back, which we have done a swap deal plus 20 million for an old centre back. Um, this guy is, well, we'll bring up his profile now, 25 years old, rated 81. This guy is going to be 6 foot 3 as well, he's going to be really good. Sprint speed is really, really fast as well, so it makes up for a lot of the speed that we don't have right now. Um, so yeah, this is very exciting, very, very happy with this signing. Uh, we have also sold our older right back, uh, 28 years old, 73. I'm hoping to bring back, uh, sorry, bring back, bring in a new right wing back. Um, we, we're trying to work on it, but we'll let you know any future deals in the future. So here we have it, guys. Our brand new right back, right wing back, um, 25 year old, rated 83, this is a massive, massive signing for us. Welcome to Newport County, hopefully we can try and push for maybe, maybe winning the league this year, um, and hopefully doing well in Europe, hopefully winning Europe would be fantastic, if not, not a problem, um, but yeah, this guy is a great signing. So here we have it, our probably last signing of this window, we brought in a brand new centre back, Weston McKennedy, McKenney, I don't know how to say his name, American, he's 26, rated 85, um, we done it £43 million plus a swap deal for a, uh, for a centre midfielder we bought last season, G Till, um, I can't remember how much we bought him for, I think, I'm not really sure actually, but good deal I'm happy with it um, so yeah hopefully this strengthens the squad even more now hopefully we can push for either winning the league or trying to do well in Europe that's the aim for this season so we have sent Josh Sheeny Sheen Sheehan Josh Sheehan I don't know how to say his name um, centre midfielder 30 years old rated 30, 71 we're sending out on loan for you to um, Braga. So, so yeah, hopefully he'll come back with a bit more experience. Um, but we can always recall him if we need him. Worst comes to worst. So guys, as you can see, we are now coming towards the end of the season, uh, end of the transfer window, and we are now going to look at the squad that we've got for the rest of the season. So this is our squad. Um, so again, we have our wonder striker over here. Two of them, absolute beast up front. Got Coutinho still, 84 rated, still going strong. Possibly look for a replacement for next season for him. Um, I've left him in just because he's only 24. So we still got a little bit of room with improvement. If not, then we'd love to replace him next season as well. Um, again, youngster over there. We just sort of designed again as an improvement to what we had. All improvements, all improvements, all improvements. Henderson, 87 rated. That's like not far off a world class keeper. Really happy. Um, another thing, Phillips. We signed him when we were in League One or League Two, and, and he was 72 rated. And now he's 80. Great, great signing that was ages ago. Um, Griezmann on the bench. Killerman, 74 rated. Brilliant, brilliant uh, substitute to have. So we've got a, all in all a great, great squad. Um, I think we're struggling in Europe, to be fair. But I'm, I'm, I'm hoping for a good finish in the Premier League this season. Hopefully. If not, it is what it is. But hopefully our aim is to be close to the top and to do well in Europe. That's my aim. So I'm going to skip forward to January the 1st to see how we've done halfway through the season. So guys, it is now January the 1st. We're halfway through the season, uh, going into the next transfer window. So let's have a look how we're doing so far in the league and Cups and Europe. So, like, so you can see that we're in the third round against Harrogate of the FA Cup, which is good. 
Alright, so we've got a Carabao Cup. Uh, we're in the semi-finals again this year. Hopefully we can get past the semi-finals this year. That'd be nice. And win a cup. Um, let's have a look at the Champions League. See how we're doing in that. We had a hard group. I think we had Real Madrid in our group, I believe. Um, so, uh, Champions League. Uh, group stages. Yeah, we finished second, though. So, I'm happy with that. We had... Real Madrid in our group, um, so so yeah, positive goal difference. We're scoring goals at least. Um, so yeah, happy with that. Happy. So uh, round of sixteen, we got Dortmund. <laughs> not an easy, uh, not an easy ride, but hopefully we can overcome Dortmund and do do a little bit, do a good progression. Next, let's have a look at the league then. I know we've done so well in the others. I hope we haven't done bad in the league now. Fifth. Eight points off first. Hmm, okay. I thought we'd be a lot better position than what we are. Um, eight points is not bad. We've drawn seven games, though. That's, that's stupendous. That's a lot of drawing. You know what I mean? Um, so, yeah. All right, Ember. We'll try and strengthen our squad if we can. Um, if not, I'll show you the squad before we leave January. Give you an update on the caps and stuff at the end of January now. So, we have done a little bit of business. I have bought in a left back slash left wing back on a free. He's 25 years old, eight, rated 81. Accept the offer. Um, that's a great little sort of pick up for us on a free as well. We have also signed a pre-contract for next season to sign um, De Bruyne um, on a two-year contract. He's going to be our new centre attacking mid, rated 89. Even if he drops down to 88 to 87, he's still really, really improving our squad. So Kevin De Bruyne will be joining us next season. So here we have it. We have another pre-contract ready for next season. Signed for nothing. Um, 25 year old, 83 rated centre midfielder. Really, really improve our squad, even if it's just for depth. It depends. See how he improves over the season. See how our squad improves over the season. And hopefully, we have bagged ourselves a nice little centre back for absolutely nothing. So he'll be joining us next season. So it is the end of the January transfer window. Let's have a look how our squad is shaping up. So as you can see, we've nearly got two strikers and 90 rated, which is phenomenal. Uh, Coutinho, who we know we've already replaced for next season in Kevin De Bruyne. Um, we've also signed a new centre midfielder, 85. That's going to just be a rotational player, if I'm really honest. Um, we've signed a new left wing back. Uh, he's rated 81, which is an improvement. Um, Henderson, which has gone up again, which is rated 88. And our new centre-back has gone up one as well. Um, so again, all, all in all, a good improvement all round. Um, let's have a look at some tournaments that we're in. So standing so far, we're still in fifth. Um, seven points behind now, so we've dropped more points for some reason. Oh, we've got a game in hand, have we? Uh, no, so we dropped points again, which is frustrating. We will have a look now at the EFL Cup as well, or the Carabao Cup, whatever it's called now. See how we're doing in that. Um, oh, we're in the final. Brilliant. So we're in the final of that, 1st of March. We'll wait and see how we get off in that against Arsenal. And we... Right, we're playing, we know we're playing against Dortmund still in the Champions League. So I am now going to skip to the end of the season. See how we've done. Hopefully good news and bad news. Hopefully the good news is that we win everything. Bad news is that we don't. So I'm going to skip now. To the end of the season, which is probably May, is it? Yeah, end of May. 
skip and I'll see you in a minute. So guys, this is the end of the season. It looks like we are in a cup final by the looks of it because we've got one extra game. So let's go and have a look how we did in the league and what cup final we're in and see how we got off in the other cup final. So let's have a look. So we're in the final of the FA Cup against Chelsea. So we'll play that now in a minute. Um, let's have a look at the Premier League, see how we got off. Okay, so we finished fourth. We're still a long, long way behind first. We just seem to be drawing too many games, you know what I mean? We've drawn 13 games last season, which is ridiculous. So hopefully we can improve on that next season. Um, have a look at the Carabao Cup, see if we won it or not. Hopefully we did. Hey, yes. So we won the Carabao Cup. 4-1 against Arsenal. 4-1 thrashing of Arsenal. Um, so that's brilliant news. So we've won our first silverware in the Premier League, which is brilliant. Uh, let's have a look how we got off in the Champions League. Um, well, we did make the final, funny enough. We did make the semi-final. Well, we we lost on aggregate 4-3 in the quarter-finals to Inter Milan. Who, so we beat Dortmund 3-2 on aggregate, which is a brilliant result. So we lost in the quarter-finals of the Champions League, which I'll take for first season in the Champions League, to be fair. So, um, we are now going to skip past... Um, we're going to skip to the Chelsea game now to see how we did um, in how we're going to do in the cup final. So here we go, we're going to sim the game, sim the FA Cup final, quick sim it, hopefully, I pray to God that we win this. 2-0, we, we have won the FA Cup, that is brilliant news, so we've won two cups this season. We win the Carabao Cup and the FA Cup. Um, so now it's just time to win the Premier League and the Champions League. We're finishing the top four, so we've definitely got Champions League place, which is brilliant. So, so yeah. So we are now FA Cup winners and Carabao Cup winners. I am now going to go and skip to uh, next season, um, and we're going to have a little look at how. Um, our squad is doing by here quickly. So again, no major changes from last time. Um, but yeah, I'm going to skip to next season now. See you in a second. So we have our pre-contract players coming in now. Um, that we signed last season. Um, so Kevin De Bruyne and Pavelaris. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I can't see his name. Sorry for insulting him, not that he's going to watch this video, but anyway. Um, yeah, sign these two now, so that's a brilliant signing. So hopefully this can help our squad. Let's have a look at our squad for this season so far, at the beginning of the transfer window. Um, let's have a look. So we've got Kevin De Jean De Bruyne. And we have Pavla blah 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 blah. Um, obviously, we're going to change Kevin De Bruyne to a cam. into a cam where is he so there you go he's going to take two weeks in two weeks time he will be a centre attack in mid fully trained up back to his old position where he should be rated 89 and yeah don't know whether I'm going to sell Coutinho yet we'll have a look we'll see we'll see how things go in the transfer window um, again where do we strengthen 
Batip is, is really degraded. Um, so yeah, we're probably looking at a new centre back because Matip is rated 80, which I thought he was a lot higher than that person. So guys, we have made two brand new signings for Newport County, two massive signings. First one being a brand new centre back, 21 year old, rated 84. This guy is going to be world class, I think, in the future. That's why we signed him. Hopefully this strengthens up our back line. Hopefully this gives us a push to win in the league and the Champions League this season. We have also signed a new left wing back, Ryan Sesson Young, uh, 85 rated, 26 years old. Uh, we signed him for £42 million pounds plus the player we got on a free last year, which is worth about 20, 25 million. So all together about 67 million pounds we've paid for this guy. Hopefully two massive signings there are gonna help us this season. Um, I don't think there's gonna be any more signings. I think these two are it with the amount of money we spent. Um, hopefully this will be enough to push for promotion. I'll let you know if there's any more deals. I'll show you the squad um, just before the end of January. Uh, just before the end of this transfer window, before we go into January, so. So, here we are, we're playing the Community Shield. Um, this is a good little warm-up, I guess, for a match. We're going to click sim it, see how we get off into Spurs. So this is a big side. Um, let's have a look. So we win 3-2. Again, we're letting in a lot of goals, but with the quality of Harry Kane, we expect letting goals. Dombre, same person, really. But, um, but yeah, glad with the scoring goals as well, and win 3-2, so we've got to win the Community Shield. Well done, boys. So guys, it is now the end of the transfer window. Um, this is our squad so far. As you can see, we've improved it massively with the two signings that we've got. Um, hopefully we can push for winning the league, and hopefully a good Champions League run. I'm going to skip to January now and hopefully we can uh, see some progress in the team. So here it is, we are at January time, so that means the transfer window is back open, officially the halfway point they say in the season. So we're still in the FA Cup, which is good to know, which is nice. Um, again, we won it last season, so it's always nice to try and retain it. So, so yeah, we're in that, we've got Man United, don't know how far we're going to go, we shall see. Carabao Cup, let's have a look. Okay, we lost in the quarterfinals against Spurs, disappointed with that, but it is where it is. Let's have a look at the Champions League. Okay, we're against Dortmund, we topped our group, drew one game, one five, so I'm happy with that. Um, let's have a look at the league. Okay, we're in third position, six points off top. Um, we've lost four games and two four. So, so yeah, we, we need to start big, beating Man United and Man Cities. So yeah, hopefully we'll have a little luck if we make a sign if we can't, we can't. Um, but yeah, if not we'll have a look to see if we can get the free contracts to approve in the next season. I'll keep the form. So we have signed our first signing and our last signing. We have got Varan in, 24 million plus our centre back. Um, he's 33 years old but He's 87 rated, he's probably going to go down to about 85 eventually. But I do generally think this is going to really, really help us push for the Champions League win that we need. And I really hope that this can strengthen our back four so we're able to compete for the title this season. I'm now going to skip now to the end of the season and I'll show you the squad quickly. Um, so this will be the squad. So 
so this is the squad um, of our team for the season and we're going to skip to the end of the season and hopefully we've won some stuff with this season so here we are at the end of the season um, it looks like we got to the Champions League final I'm not 100% sure we're going to have a look now um, see how we got on in other competitions as well so we are in the final of the Champions League. Newport County in the final against it's Juventus, but obviously they can't call it Juventus or FIFA because Piers has bought the rights for it. But um yeah, let's see how we do then in the Carabao Cup or how we're doing in the Carabao Cup. I can't remember if we went through this. Yeah, we lost to Spurs, didn't we? Yeah, I remember that. FA Cup. I think we got knocked out really early, didn't we, again? Yep, way down the line we got knocked out. Anyway, let's not worry about that. We won them last year, we don't know win them twice in a row, do we? Let's check the league now. Please save them this league, please, 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 please. Ah! Oh. Newport County have won the Premier League. Yeah, you heard it right. Yeah, you heard it. Newport County, that's right. Wow. We were six points behind to go four points ahead. We literally lost two games in the second half of the season. That was it. Wow. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. So guys, the Champions League final, here we go, Newport County versus Juventus. So as you guys know, with the Champions League final, we can sim but we can use the jump in feature if we want to or if we have to. Um, as you can see, Ake is suspended. So we've got Zimmer in now instead. Hopefully he doesn't play with a Zimmer frame. I'm gonna go and press sim match now. And if it goes terribly wrong, we can use the jump in feature. Wait for it to load up. You can see the two sides there. This is it, the Champions League final. They are underway. Who will be crowned Club Kings of Europe? Who will be Danger crowned here Mr. as he runs at them? Ricky Puig. Pedro. Under pressure. Doesn't seem to be bothering him. Opportunity to deliver the cross. It's opening up for them. Tingis Under. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. And a throw in it's going to be. The Kate Delare. Alex Centeyes. Sam Maxima. Pure ball control. And an astute piece of defending. Lost to attack from the wide areas. Sessegnon, De Bruyne at the ready, and the no-nonsense clearance. Genghis Under. That's a good chance there for Newport. Pedro. Maybe I'm pushed on the counter. Ball lost here. Yeah, it wasn't. Fast moving. Oh, maybe he's got the ball. Got to be a goal. Still level here, oh. but the pressure escalating and crossed in the direction of the back post. Florian Neuhaus. De Kate Delare. Now De Licht. Joao Pedro. Florian Neuhaus. Will stop me in possession. And missed time to run, sadly. That's offside. 
Ricky Puig. Centelles. A disappointing end to the move. Excellent ball over the top. Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. Florian Neuhaus. Ball with uh, Maxima. Beautiful pass. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Corner awarded. Looks like we got an injury to Varane. This is not good. So Matip is going to come in. That's a weak back four on them. Or the back three, sorry. Forty-five minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. Bogle. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Still could be dangerous. Not far away at all with the volley. Well, to catch it like that, you've got to have really good technique. And oh, so close. Florian Neuhaus. Genghis Under. Sessegnon. Dangerous ball. It's in! The first goal, goal of the Champions League final. What oh, a, a goal. Fantastic moment. What a moment oh, for the players. One left what a moment the Champions for those League supporters. Final. Don't mess this up, please. Sam Maxima. Now De Ligt. Charles de Cate de Lare. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Well, they'll be happy to have regained possession. Now can they counter clinically? And after the cross, a tremendous block. An alert intervention. Centelles. The Cape de Lare. Options in the centre. Dangerous looking attack. Good idea, that particular move, but not to be. This could level it. And a goal! And no. what an important goal! The grand scheme of things. Well, it's the sort of determination and desire that's got them here. All the momentum is with them now. Ricky Puig. Morata in possession. Showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. Can they forge ahead? An important challenge, but they must remain organized. Neuhaus. It's got to be! Must take the lead here! Zero oh dear, he squandered it! Well, with time running out, you couldn't ask for a better opportunity. I can't see them getting another one. Sessegnon. And winning it back. Five minutes remaining, and level pegging here. And a goal at this stage could be decisive. Not the pass he had in mind. Alert defending. Can they hit on the break? Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. He's in with a chance. Will he? Was it important? And the drama continues. We're now into the first period of extra time tonight, Lee. Well, this 30 minutes now is going to separate the weak ones from the strong ones. Let's see who wins. Ricky Puig. Sam Maxima has it. De Bruyne. Tremendous ball played through. And he might be in here. A goal! That's two That's it. Today. He's won. He's got to open now. No wonder he celebrated. What a ball through from Teddy Kevin De Bruyne. Well, well here's finish. the replay, and as we see, it's a class ball through to split the defence. Jaden Bogle. De Bruyne now. There's a slide draw pass. It might be. Can they cover up? And in at the second time of asking. That's it. We've won. 
the Champions League. 3-1. We've got to win this thing. Well, as we see again, Derek, this is why you shoot across the keeper. Always a chance of a rebound. And the keeper's punished. Good to hear. And a time for cool heads. Full time. And the issue has been settled. One team crestfallen. The other jubilantly. Well, there's winners and there's always losers. Fine margins between the two. Expectation wins nothing, Derek. You've got to go out there and seize the moment. But for these players, well, it's the night of their lives. And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, you have to enjoy it because it passes so quickly. Comes next, the presentation of the cup with the big. Well, this is taking seven years. Well, you just think how many games we've played this sorry. season as well. All that's Four in the past now. The game that's Three just one. happened was the most important one. Seven seasons. They're all poised. Some great signings. The some Champions free signings League as well. winners. And there it is. The Champions League, Newport County has won it. The Premier League, and you can feel Champions League, the, emotion. the FA Cup, Carabao Cup. It's natural to reflect John on this Pink final, but so Trophy. much hard work has gone all. into the entire campaign. The one league, memories, league memories. Two. We got promoted, second place in Champions And this is really Absolutely special. Fantastic. Getting to celebrate in front fans. If you like well, this video, please fans like, have like, traveled drop all a comment over the place. if you would have now they get to join in the celebrations, go into the crowd and give them the cup, that's what I say. Then, and well, then it might never find its way to the trophy cabinet league. Moving into the English league and moving from, into a certain division. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, and uh, yeah, catch you again. Well, you never know when these moments are going to come along, Derek, in your career. Absolutely relish them with your teammates. No question about that. There we have it. The club champions of Europe.